How well do you know the law? Do you know your rights? Do you know your wrongs? Here's a program that will keep you in the know of the law. Tune in to Styles FM this and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.05 p.m. with your host, DG Angel, and get legal-minded. Remember, ignorance is no excuse of the law. The law. So be in the know of the law. The law. The law. Sponsors of In the Know of the Law are Native Audio Stage and Lighting, Braham Texaco. Good afternoon and welcome to another program of In the North the Law on Sales FM, Jamaica's number one radio station. My name is Delrose Green. I am a sergeant of police and I'm connected to the beautiful parish of Portland. And this is your program. Don't touch your dial because at the end of this show, you shall know the law. You see me? A long time I tell them some of the friends about you. T Wiz Records. You see me? So right now, nobody can stop me that. I'm a DJ, but I think what everybody afraid of. As far as me know, as long as me member. If you're born and you grow up in a Jamaica, you know what nobody call you not in pharma. But you see me, very proud in pharma. Me not do it for myself, but for Jamaica. You see me, must be an infarma. Me have to make the sacrifice and make the police say, well, you see me. Must be an informer, me have a number for the sergeant, the inspector. You see me? Must be an informer, and if me can't get this out, me call commissioner. Me a informer because me not support the crime. If you do the crime, do the time, pay the fine. Crime is mashing up this country and we acting like we're blind. We should have put a stop into this thing long time. So if me say a boy with a special or a nine, me go stop on my foot, dial 119. Me give the operator all information. In face color clothes, in full complexion, and put there. I'm on the cake in GPS location. I stay up on the phone till all the police them reach. Me see Vic Newton, me see Good afternoon and welcome back to another program of In and Off the Law. I want to say thanks to our kind sponsors, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, Braham's Texaco Task Property Appraisals Company Limited, bringing quality service to you. And to our contributors at Toyers, Nail Shop Number 6, Rosemary Plaza, Mount Bay St. Thomas, and you can get her at 876-426-5066. Of course, we have uh, our friends over there, Errol in Baltimore, USA, MT Landscaping Services up there in Francis Lewis Boulevard, Queens, New York City. And to get him, you can call him at 347-840-4623. I want to say thanks to everyone that is tuning. Of course, my intro is none other than DSP, Travel Orton, uh, proud informer. Um, to, if the person that want to join the program this evening, you can WhatsApp us at 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. Uh, good evening to everyone that have tuned in and um, are WhatsApping. I see where Ricardo Porteous um, is saying good evening to DG Angel. A six-year-old is making a clay loan to raise money for Australia. Uh, anyway, see if I can read that a little later on when I make sense of it. Uh, Sadie say good evening to Mr. Chambers. Uh, he's not here as yet, Sadie. I think he's on his way. So as soon as he gets here, uh, we will definitely pass that on to him. My sincere apologies. I want to say thanks to my engineer, Cassidy, who is always here with me. Of course, to our superintendent of police, Mr. Dwayne Wellington, and the management team, Deputy Superintendent of Police, Mr. Troyville Orton, and acting DSP, Mr. Julio Francis, as well as Mr. Linton Bailey, and every man and woman of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Portland in particular, but you know I love all my people, so it's actually throughout the island of Jamaica. Interesting, we have had a few days of, ah, it's 15 days uh, for the, in the month of January. And it has started off very rocky. We're going to be continuing the conversation, um, the topic on um, the noise abatement. And we're going to get a little in-depth in it this evening. But before I do that, you know, I must recognize that Jamaica has started off very bloody, so to speak. And so, you know, we are sad as a nation of the turn things are taking in Jamaica. The domestic violence has taken a turn I mean, it can't get any worse than that. On the midnight of, 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 of January, 
December coming into January, um, just a couple hours before midnight, a young lady was shot and killed in Manchester by her um, spouse. Um, and of course, he then killed him. Well, no, he didn't kill himself. He is in custody, right? But then after that, you know, we woke up to the, the, the sad news of a soldier chopping, then shooting his common-law wife, a nurse, um, and then killing himself. Then, then we had the, another one that this young man actually gained entry to the, the window of his girlfriend's parents' home. Um, it is alleged that they have had problems and she have moved out a few times back to her parents' house. The father explained that the man was such a decent young man or so he thought that he did electrical engineer, um, electrical work, and when he did it on his house, he wouldn't ever take pay from him. The, 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 oh, that's how decent he appeared to be. And yet still he could have gone through the window of his daughter's house and killed her in her sleep. And um, it, it's sad that these killers actually try to find ways and means um, because it is said that after he did it, he ran, drove away his vehicle, and then called the man, called the, ch the girl's father to say, um, hi, so-and-so, what happened to your daughter? And the father said, he said to him, did I just kill my daughter? So, you know, he actually was trying to work out in a way to find out if they saw that it was he. So domestic violence is on a rise, um, sad to say that um, I saw where Joan E. Brown wrote a full article um, about her experience, or, um, and it was posted on social media, and persons are actually running with it. And so, you know, her, Joan E. Brown is somebody that have been on this program for some time, speaking to us for the persons who remember. She was the female was shot and injured in Three Ill St. Mary about seven years ago when her husband, Corporal Llewellyn, um, she went through a lot of domestic violence with him. Although not physical, verbal, emotional, financial, all the alts. And so she moved out from Montego Bay back to her parent house in St. Mary. He journeyed there and he killed her mother, her father, her brother and her only daughter. And then he actually went on to shoot her in her neck, crippling her. So, that is where... Good evening, Mr. Chambers. How are you doing? Good evening. How are you? I am happy to be here. Um, happy to be with the listeners again. And we will be continuing the discussion on the Noise Abatement Act. I agree with you, um, Delrose. The, the, the year has not started well in respect of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I have seen numerous videos mm -hmm. that have been circulating where persons are engaging mm -hmm. with the topic and the, the real problem that domestic violence um, poses, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I, I wish that more persons would seek advice mm -hmm. whenever they are having um, issues mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. their spouse, you know, to avoid these kind of acts of unfortunate acts of I, violence. I, another thing that I want to say, Mr. Chambers, is that, you know, my, my next, what I'm about to say next, you have downsized. Um, you have downsized. More convenient. Is it a touch screen? Yes, it is. It is. Wow. You yeah, me catch me. 2020 down. looks good. Um, but, Mr. Chambers, mm -hmm. um, one thing I can say to you is that I have always said to persons, that they have to be careful of what they say to individuals. Nothing that I'm about to say here is going to say that anyone is right in taking another person's life. But I'm asking us, especially as females, to be careful what we say to men. A video was circulated and some voice notes and let me just quickly say again that I'm not giving anybody the right. I'm not, I'm not promoting domestic violence. Do not say that I am. But I, all I'm saying, and I've said it on this program on numerous occasions, 
Well, ladies, especially us women, be careful what we say to men. Because I don't know, we sometimes, by a virtue of our words, push them over the edge. And so I heard a video, and a voice was circulating, and I was uncomfortable with the conversation mm -hmm. that was being held in the background. You know, me don't want you. You know, you idiot, man. You're the biggest fool me ever see. You know, I said, I don't want you. I just a comfort and my man yard, and so on and so forth. And so if you find that you and a person cannot get along, you're going to go your separate ways. Look here. Don't my granny said, break your tongue. Mm -hmm. Because you just don't know. I heard a video when the man crying in bars. Yo, I never go through this yet. I mean, what a... Another thing that I want to say to my brothers. I'm going to invest in a car, no? Invest in a house, no? Invest in some peak. If I don't invest in a woman. Mr. Chimal, no, in, them can't invest. Because when I, I hear it so often. I invest my money in a yo. DG <laughs> is going to get a backlash. <laughs> What did you just say a while ago? The invest in a lot, oh man. As some me say. And folks, I will give my disclaimer here. Listen, I want to tell you now that I'm married and my husband have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. However, I don't want him invest in me. Mm -hmm. Listen, when a man say, I'm saying I go to school, and I'm me, and I'm me, and I'm me, and I'm me. So, so automatically, I own you. Mm -hmm. You belong to me. You mm -hmm. can't leave me. So, because the one in St. Elizabeth, he was actually beating her continuously. Mm -hmm. She moved out and went back to her mother's house. Yeah. So in other words, I can do you anything I feel like doing you because I've invested in you. I own you. So I you're, own you're you. You are now my property. You are now yes. my property. Mm -hmm. You belong to me. I can do anything. Yeah. And it doesn't work like that, Mr. Chambers. So that is it. So, so make a disclaimer if you want. Um, the video, does, the video started. But Mr. Yeah, Chambers, exactly. show off and I even a big enough. The, the only disclaimer that I was going to make yeah. is that I wouldn't tell anyone not to invest. Um, that's not what I would, in, I would say. Mm -hmm. What I would say is if you are going to invest, remember, investments <laughs> comes with risk. <laughs> Well, I love my lawyer. <laughs> investment comes with risk. Yes. So you may lose your investment. <laughs> You may, Achoo. you may make a bad investment. investment. Yes, yes. And you may not get the quality of returns that, that you, expected you expected on the investment. You sound like Bishop Farr. I saw Bishop Farr proper, you know. Good evening, Bishop Delroy Farr, OD. Mr. Yes. Chambers. But, but I, I wish that both men and women mm -hmm. will start realizing that we are individuals. Each of us have separate personalities. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if we agree that we are going into a union, mm -hmm. persons can change their mind. Yes. And if an individual has changed his or her mind, mm -hmm. though it may hurt, and it may hurt really bad, we have to respect yes. the decision and we must move on as amicably as possible as emotions will allow mm -hmm. without resorting to violence it is it is unfortunate um it the, is quite unfortunate it, it it doesn't seem to be getting any better because if in 2020 mm -hmm. we have started out the way we have not going to get any better not going to get any better no. and I, I see the fever catching and i see the fever catching and it catching you know it it it's gross and, and all these murders are so gruesome. It's That's not horrible. like Yeah, it's not like you you have fight and you push a person and a person drop and eat them head. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chambers is chop up and shoot and I actually watch a clip on the, the video on the um the, the camera of the one that happened New Year's night. Right. And the man actually shot her, paused, looked her away, and then gave her about four shots. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you know, him think about this, me think, and then just, you it know. It was thought out. I, it's and hard. that's what is so frightening. It's hard being a defense counselor, right? No. It's not hard? No. Okay. Because, it, it, because. We do it, give the advice, you know. Okay, okay. We do say that if we, if we are of the view that um, 
that the, 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 the prosecution's case is of such a magnitude that it would be difficult to surmount a defense and if it is that we have been we are given instructions uh -huh. that i am guilty mm -hmm. we do tell our clients to shorten the proceedings and not waste the court's time yes i i i, I, yes. I noticed that mm. i noticed that mr chambers um thank you very much on monday afternoon you were mm -hmm. here all by yourself i know sadie and other persons kept your company P -p point to the screen again but go slowly across the screen now turn your hand flat and point to the screen yes all right <laughs> 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 I mean, Mr. Chambers, my Facebook people, <laughs> Mr. Chambers, are you seeing what I, what, 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 what I am seeing? Mr. Chambers infatuated me, left hand. <laughs> and it is not because my nails are being done. But um, but yes, I'm somebody's property now. Amen. Um, uh, Amen. Well, it's not an investment, though. Amen. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mr. Chambers. And it, folks, mm. from, from, from my CR, you know. Starting the new year, you know, she looked like this little young girl. Yes, man. The, the wonders oh, that a warm blanket can make. Can you imagine? Yes. Your own blanket, you know, mm -hmm. you know, burn a blanket. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to return it. Um, good evening, DG, doing in Tennessee. It's been a while now. I don't tune into you. Thank you very much, Duane. Why are you going to leave us? Remember to tune in, man. Um, Mr. Chambers, I see Lando Gray on your Facebook Live, and I see. Mm -hmm. Um, Shereen Campbell. I'll read for him. See, he does have on his glasses. And let's see who else is there. A touch screen for you. Yeah. Okay. Boy, I go and yeah, do Mister Chambers. I tell you, let me catch you. Watch it. Watch it. I caught my jealous eye too. You know. Shereen Campbell. Happy New Year's to you too. Mm -hmm. All right. The Noise Abatement Act. Yes. I actually said, Mister Chambers. Let me just put out quickly the disclaimer before we go in, Mister mm -hmm. Chambers. I tried to get. Um, what you call him? A promoter. Yes. I tried to get a promoter. Mm -hmm. my, my office spoke to at least five of them mm -hmm. in Port Antonio. And um, nobody has come forward to come and speak. Is that afraid? I'm not sure, but I know that they have a lot of problems. Um, they have a lot of concerns, rather. Mm -hmm. And so I would have thought they would have wanted to come in studio, mm -hmm. express some of the concerns. Um, but, I, you know, we are so flexible that if on another day they make themselves available, we will just go back to the topic to facilitate So them. we are putting it out at Radio Land. Mm -hmm. We want a promoter to come on the program to discuss with us the Noise Abatement Act and what changes they would want to see in this act. You see, one of the things I realize, Del Rose, mm -hmm. is that many of us, when a legislation is passed, we squeal and yes. we make noise, mm -hmm. but nobody's willing to come forward to say, this is what I think exactly. should happen. This is what I think should be included. This is what I think should be excluded. Nobody's willing to do it. No. It's like that. But this is the platform, folks promoters who are listening this is the platform for you to come and say we believe or i believe that this should be added to the legislation or mm -hmm. that particular thing should be added to the legislation mm -hmm. or this should be taken out mm -hmm. or, yes this is the platform to do that folks and i hope that the promoters in portland and in the east of jamaica who are listening yes well um <laughs> will take us up on that. One thing I can tell them, though, is that I know that it, there are issues out there, mm -hmm. and we continue to, um, to speak on the issues. But, but people, we can't solve them if we don't know them. All right? right. And so we encourage persons. The noise abatement back, we actually have three minutes to go before we um, do our, some business. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. Um, Mr. Chambers, the... What is happening over there with USA and and um, what's the country that them got trouble? Iran. Iran. What's the latest on it? Well, ever cooler heads has prevailed, but what is happening in Iran mm -hmm. is that there has been a lot of protest. Okay. About the downing of the plane. Mm -hmm. Um, they have admitted that it was an error. Mm -hmm. Um, they thought it was a drone and um or a cruise missile or something mm -hmm. and so they 
they downed the plane and they have finally admitted that it is that error that caused them to have downed the plane. So that's what's happening with the US and Iran mm-hmm. currently. Um, China and the US are about to have a breakthrough with their trade deal. Um, but let's see what, how that goes now. Right. Mm-hmm. Interesting though. Um, it is actually now 5.30 and we are going to be taking a short break and do some business. But when we come back on the other side of 5.30, we're going to be speaking to you about the Noise Abatement Act and get more in-depth in it. Uh, this is your program in the know of the Lord. Don't touch it dial because we will be back with you shortly. This time signal is brought to you by Braham Texaco, 15 Arbor Street, Port Antonio. We remain open 24 hours every day for your convenience. The time is 5.30 p.m. I'm tired of you and this pop down jalapeno, you know, you know. Watch there. We all run out of gas now. What, babes? Me think the quarter town could have carried from Kingston come up Port Antonio. Uh, boss man, which part run us at the nearest gas station there? Yeah man, right at the road man. Brian's Texaco right at the side there. So boss, we can get one cup of coffee, one hot dog, anything for eat around here? Lady, you know what me say? Brian's Texaco, everything up there. Brian's Texaco, service station and convenience store. Located at Arbor Street, Port Antonio, Long Bay, Portland. 24 Queen Street, Morant Bay, Gale, St. Mary. Proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law. Task Property Appraisals Company Limited is a licensed valuation entity that is committed to providing quality service to clients across Jamaica. We have over 10 years industry experience. Our track record of providing speedy service is complemented by affordable prices. We also work with commissioned land surveyors to meet your surveying needs and provide referrals to law firms. We're licensed as a real estate agent and offer real estate consultation. We also provide valuations for insurance purposes. We We cater to residential and commercial customers, as well as those in the agricultural and industrial sector. For more information, contact us at Shop 28, 24 Fort George Street, Port Antonio, Family Building. Call us at 876-410-9020 or 876-862-0509. At Nutsford Express, everything matters. It matters that our customer transportation officers are trained for 12 weeks before captaining their first passenger trip. It matters that your precious cargo parts on time and arrives safely. It matters that you enjoy the comforts and convenience of home. Because at the Nutsford, we move what matters. Task Property Appraisals Company Limited is a licensed valuation entity that is committed to providing quality service to clients across Jamaica. We have over 10 years industry experience. Our track record of providing speedy service is complemented by affordable prices. We also work with commissioned land surveyors to meet your surveying needs and provide referrals to law firms. We're licensed as a real estate agent and offer real estate consultation. We also provide valuations for insurance purposes. We cater to residential and commercial customers, as well as those in the agricultural and industrial sector. For more information, contact us at Shop 28, 24 Fort George Street, Port Antonio, Family Building. Call us at 876-410-9020 or 876-862-0509. Welcome back to another program of In the North the Law on your radio station, the Styles FM, of course. We have been speaking about the Noise Abatement Act, and um, Mr. Chambers did a, a section of it on Monday evening, yes. and so we're going to be continuing it this evening. Mr. Chambers, where did you reach? So we were at section four mm-hmm. of the Act. I will remind the listeners what we spoke about on the last occasion. Mm-hmm. Remember, if you breach the Noise Abatement Act, well, let me just do a quick run through. Section Mm 3 spoke about um, private premises and uh, you shouldn't sing or sound, Mm -hmm. make any sound, sing or play any musical instrument or noisy instrument. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you shouldn't operate or permit to be operated any loudspeaker or microphone, Mm -hmm. yes, or anything for the amplification of sound in such a manner that it is audible beyond a distance of 100 meters, which is the 100 meters that bolt runs. All right. 
um, and particularly so, it shouldn't be for um, areas where there are dwelling houses, hospitals, nursing homes, infirmary, hotel, or guest house. And if you make any sound, <laughs> yes, it will be presumed to have caused that annoyance, annoyance. if it's in that area, mm -hmm. any such sound, all right? Um, you can't operate a loudspeaker for a uh, public meeting beyond 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. or beyond midnight for political meetings. Mm -hmm. And if you um, do so on the first occasion, your first offense, you're fined, to, you're subject to a fine not exceeding $15,000. Mm -hmm. And if you default, three months imprisonment. And on the second occasion, it's a fine not exceeding $30,000. Mm -hmm. And if you don't pay the money, to a prison term not exceeding six months. And for any third offense or any subsequent offense after that, it is a fine not exceeding $50,000 and in default, 12 months in prison. <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. um, so we are at section four. Mm -hmm. And it says, the occupier of any premises on which an offense on the... Section 3.1 has been committed. And remember, Section 3.1 spoke about singing, mm -hmm. sound, or playing any musical instrument. Yes, or noisy instrument. Like they did. Or if you operate mm -hmm. a loudspeaker or a microphone, which mm -hmm. amplifies sound. Mm -hmm. So it says, the occupier of any premises on which an offense under Section 3.1 has been committed, mm -hmm. commits an offense. Mm -hmm. If the court is satisfied that A, he was present on the premises at the time of the offense, mm -hmm. so the occupier has to be there. The okay. court has to be satisfied that you were present. Mm -hmm. If the court is satisfied that you were present at the time of the offense, you, he had not taken all reasonable steps to prevent the commission of the offense. Mm -hmm. So you know that your little son mm -hmm. or your little daughter love him, jump set. Yes? Mm -hmm. And you put a loud a microphone on it or something <laughs> that can amplify the sound. And you sit down there and say, oh, what a nice little <laughs> drummer. <laughs> and him, because that sound travel beyond the 100 meters, you're in problems. Mm -hmm. Yes? Because you will not have taken all reasonable steps. You must lock the window. Um, and if you can't lock the window, put it in a basement. I'm glad I wanted my neighbor run a new road, matter on listening. Because matter and playing like a sound mm -hmm. 24 hours a day. That's a new When 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -mm. Matter and playing so like, you know, like we are playing right in your room. Mm -hmm. I say playing so. He's 100 meters from you. Look here, man. I, I, I farther than that. I mean, right. I hear it. I have to lock all the window. There, man. It is an offense. It is. I mean, put on my night today and I go down there and tell him, but I go and call the police the next time now. <laughs> <laughs> so you have Although been forewarned. I mean, I know I look after the pig them, but me go and call the police then. You have been forewarned, matter on. Okay. Right? So. You must take reasonable steps to prevent the commission of the offense. And if you don't, you're liable. Subsection 2 says an owner or operator of any specified equipment using the commission of an offense under Section 3 commits an offense if the court is satisfied. So, sound system operator, mm -hmm. I own the sound system, yes. Mm -hmm. He was present at the place where the contravention took place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even if one of you, but are your own, <laughs> are we hearing folks? So <laughs> even if it is not you who is committing the offense, but it's your, yeah. but it's your own and you were there, mm -hmm. yes, it's a contravention. It's an offense. And if you never take all reasonable steps, you say, look at my brother, how will you try to do to me? Turn down that. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 $50,000 you want me to go pay or uh, spend some time at jail if you didn't take all reasonable steps yes the court will be satisfied um, um, that, that you create you committed an offence um, um, Mr. Chambers I, you, you, for the persons who love partying and so on they mm -hmm. would not find a loud music as an, as an annoyance or a nuisance true um, so you might be into your house and because you're a party person, this loud music is so entertaining to you. Right. The person who, you can't mind a person that have high blood pressure, is not a party person. Exactly. And decides to listen, I'm loud and go and play when you look. 
you know, 10 o'clock, 11 mm-hmm. o'clock, 12 o'clock. I've mm-hmm. been there in Mr. Chambers. Mm-hmm. And they turn I've up this. There too. A lot of times, it's not this, the loudness of the music, you know, they have the bass. Mm-hmm. Where at your bed, I shake, your pillow, I shake, tum, tum, tum. Mm-hmm. Mr. Chambers, I feel like, me mean, <laughs> and, and that's why I'm glad me live in a bush. Because I don't know you all. I mean, living in the town, you know, it is an annoyance, it's a nuisance. And it's not like that for the persons who love dance or music and love... Or love the noise. Or love yes. the noise. Mm-hmm. And, and then, another thing with that, that I want to point out is that this music... And I see what the person is saying about crusade. We're, we're coming there. Because we're coming to that. So don't believe it because it's crusade. It's a free for all. The, the laws of the land must be obeyed. And permits are t- have to be given. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Chambers, I don't understand why nowadays music is not like first time when you can listen to um, some berries, you know. Mm-hmm. And some, listen, this music when they were playing in a them yard are on the bass. <laughs> 99% of what you're hearing is the bass. But I'm saying, tum, tum. And, and, and in addition to that, the music now gets to play. Mm-hmm. Them have these selectors where you, you hear 90% of the selector. I big up the girl, them and, mm-hmm. and spread out, and, uh, and you hear 10% of music. See, there's nothing to enjoy, mm-hmm. really. It is an, an, a nuisance, so to speak. Um, and it said, I operate a business. I operate a business who want to make money, but you also need to know the people to need to get their rest. Reasonable. Um, Noreen said, Good evening. Sir, madam, what about when church have been crusaded over midnight? Mm-mm. No. Well, no. The thing is... If... Right. Is it going beyond the 100 meters? Exactly. If it is going beyond the 100 meters, and one, they need a permit. And when they need a permit. When you see this crusade going on, they need a permit, and they must abide by the Nice Ab- um, Ab- mm-hmm. Abatement Act. All right? Um, somebody was saying something earlier, oh, but it was about you know, the other topic that we were speaking about with the, the women. We're them. coming about, we're coming to the permits and what you must apply for, yes? Yes. And the hours, we're coming to it. All right, mm-hmm. so, it says, and I continue, so, subsection 3 says, where the prosecution proposes to apply for forfeiture. Now, this is the thing, you know. Mm-hmm. The prosecution can apply to take with this own Oh, yes, system. man. Yes, Let man. me repeat that for my listeners. When you are charged with an offense under the Noise Abatement Act as the mm-hmm. owner of this thing that you're operating, whether it's a sound <laughs> system, or it's an amplifier, whatever it is, when the prosecution, when you are charged with an offense underneath the act, the prosecution then can apply if it take away the sound system. Oh, yes. If it take away the piano, if it take away the drum set, mm-hmm. whatever it is that caused you to breach the act the prosecution can apply to forfeit it so where the prosecution proposes to apply for forfeiture of the equipment yes notice of such intention and of the grounds therefore shall be given forthwith to any person who to the knowledge of the prosecution is the owner so they will give you a notice that we gain we are applying for take it away mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes mm-hmm. and without prejudice to any form of service Notification may, for the purpose of subsection 3, be made by two publications. You see, they're not even getting care. Come give you, you know. Mm-hmm. They can serve you by just publishing, publishing it in the it paper twice. twice. Mm-hmm. Yes? And the second of such publications being not later than three days after the first. Mm-hmm. So they publish one now, and two days later they publish another one, because it can't go beyond three days. Yeah. Understand? And any person having a claim to any such equipment which an application for forfeiture is made may appear before the court on the hearing of the application and show cause why an order for forfeiture should not be made. So now you're going to have to tell the court, judge, you should, this is why you shouldn't take away my equipment. This is where you need a lawyer. Yes. You, you would need one <laughs> if you never contravene exactly. the, in the first in the first place. place. Mm-hmm. We are on the hearing of the application for forfeiture. No person appears before the court to show cause why an order of for forfeiture should not be made. The court shall presume that such equipment has been abandoned. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you think you're bad, forget the Just court date. No? <laughs> <laughs> forget the court date. Yep. Yes. 
if upon the application of any person aggrieved by an order made by the court, the court is satisfied that it is just so. The court gives you space to apply to set aside the order. Mm-hmm. Yes? So the court will revoke the order. Mm-hmm. And the court may revoke that order upon such terms and conditions as it deems appropriate and without prejudice to the generality of the foregoing mm-hmm. shall require the person to pay in respect of storage, maintenance, and administrative expenses, security, and interest of the equipment. So the court can say, oh, yo, 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 pay some storage fee, mm-hmm. pay for insuring it, Mm-mm. pay for maintaining it, come pay some money, and we will give it back to you, yes? So, the, 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 the idea is, folks, y- y- you have to try to prevent prosecution under the legislation yes. because you may lose the particular it's a equipment. It's very serious offense. Yes, it is. you may lose it. Now, good. Where a person intends to operate any specified equipment to provide music for... This is for the promoters now. Mm-hmm. For dancing or any other form of entertainment in a public spe- church, a public place. Oh, yeah. yeah. In a public place, unless the church is not private. That's something I'm going to have to research. In a public place, in circumstances where such music is reasonably, reasonably capable of disturbing any person occupying or residing in any private premises, such person shall make a written application to who? Mm. The superintendent of police in charge of the division in which the activity will be held. And so I'll be telling them about that shortly, how to do that. All right. Not later than 10 clear days mm-hmm. before the date on which it is proposed to hold such activity. Mm-hmm. Yes? Hmm. So even if it is a little party that you're keeping with your friend, go apply yes. for permission. Mm-hmm. All right? Every application shall contain particulars of the nature and purpose. You want to deal with that? Since yeah, man, there, I, go I, ahead. I definitely go and deal with that. One mm-hmm. of the things I want to say before I deal with that, Mr. Chambers, is that I remember I'd say on it and it say that um she operated a business and they want to make money. Of course she did went on to say that people need their rest. But Mr. Chambers, you remember the days when persons go to party, eight, nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night? Mm-hmm. I cannot understand why persons go to sleep, wake up eleven o'clock, mm-hmm. and decide to boy, I'm gonna touch the road a party mego. So persons no longer go to party early because so when a party over twelve o'clock, that is where persons are now aggrieved. By the fact that it have a lock off by 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And the law and the rule is the law and the rule. So if you know that you're having a party and it's a during the week, which is a 12 midnight lock off, mm-hmm. then you go to your party from 9.30 to 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. You can enjoy yourself. But don't go tw- quarter to 12. And, and then, then quarrel say it have a lock off 12 o'clock. Because that's what no the law sense. says. Mm-hmm. To, um, Saturday night, um, Friday night and Saturday night is 2 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Go to the party 10, 11, 12, mm-hmm. 1 to, and enjoy yourself. That's when party will lock off 2 o'clock. It lock off. Exactly. All right. So... These are the steps that we make when you're going to apply for a function. Please make a written application to the superintendent of police as Mr. Ortner, Mr. Why Mr. Orton calling me name? As Mr. Chambers um, just said, um, giving the police 10 clear days to investigate on the event. All right? So what do we need to investigate for? Say, for instance, say there has been a, a, a series of events going on in a particular area that if the police, if this event is kept in the area, we, we, you know, um, chances are there might be murders, there might mm-hmm. be um, different, different things, reprisal and so yeah, on. The one up, up, um, the one by Mountain View. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that, that they, they didn't give a permit to that, you know, and they went on and have it. Mm-hmm. So the police will investigate to see what has been happening in the area. If persons have been, you know, if it's an area that war has been going on and, and possible reprisals to say, listen, no, you can't have the event or this is what you have to put in place for it. So the police needed at least 10 clear days to do an investigation. The applicant should visit the Municipal Corporation Parish Council to inform them of, of the event and make the necessary payments as well as the government agencies which are health department and the fire department. Very importantly people. So you go to those places first. 
pay the money and get your receipt and a copy of your receipt will be attached to the application to the police or if you apply and send in the application first the police is going to wait on these receipts before they complete your application because mm -hmm. this is a part of the process so they'll accept if you come without it they'll accept it they won't turn you back but they are going to it is going to wait on you right. carrying in these additional documents before the process is completed all right applicants should inform jams and j um j cap of these events as well you know that they have their um the music rights and so on mm -hmm. and it is important that you inform them and they will in, uh, tell you the procedures on their path if applicants are not contacted by the police within seven days after leaving the application at the divisional office it is also the applicant's responsibility to check to see that the application is being processed. A lot of times you leave the applications, mm -hmm. the numbers that are on it are being called, nobody's responding yes. and so on and so forth. So don't sit people. When you make the application, check on them to see. And if you even leave the application at a particular station, Mr. Mr. Chambers, all applications are to the superintendent of police. So if you leave it at Sansan, it's a favor the police are doing it to accept it at Sansan, but it must come to the divisional headquarters right. because Sansan is not the person who is going to be giving you the permit. Applicants should ensure that the event location has proper utility outlets, light, bathroom, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. We can remember public health yes. is a part of it. So you don't want persons to be defecating all over the place and doing other things that they should not. Applicants should in, in, uh, to ensure that they provide sanitary convenience for the patrons. And so if it's not a building per se, then you can always rent these little um, disposable or movable bathrooms, right. so yes. on and so forth. One of the important things here, Mr. Chambers, is that a lot of persons who have these events, because the sound system um, generates so much current, they end up a thief light. Mm -hmm. Now that is an offense. Yes. And so if you are going to be having an event, and you don't want to use the utilities of the building. You can apply for a, a one-day permit from JPS. You know, they have that facility. Mm -hmm. That you can apply to JPS and arrange as also a spirit license, a spirit um a one-day spirit license. And persons don't know that. You can get a one-day spirit license, as also you can get the use of a meter just for that purpose. You can make an application mm -hmm. through JPS. It is your responsibility to, when you're making an application, to include things like the, 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 the date of the event, the, the sound right. system that is going to be played, mm -hmm. the name of the operator, the name of the owner. Reasons are if the, of it, if the sound system commits a breach, then of course, not every breach means that you're going to get locked up the same right. day, but you're going to be summoned. And so the application has to have on the name of the sound system operator, is um the name is being called as also the name of the owner and address mm -hmm. right um the location the date those are the things that have to be included in it, mm -hmm. it how much persons they are estimated to have right say for instance you you, you, you believe that you're going to have about three to four hundred people and so on and so forth what are your parking thing is going to be like we are going to park vehicle right. you know is it that when you have your event the road going to block up so therefore you will now have to speak to the police um about getting um off duty police officers to man the traffic right. situation and so on and so forth that's a different contract mm -hmm. um so these are the things that you have to make certain that are in your application mr chambers and it must be 10 clear days before so you have covered subsection two mm -hmm. and one and two of section five mm -hmm. so i go to subsection three where any specified equipment is used to provide music for dancing mm -hmm. or any other form of entertainment in the vicinity of any hotel, dwelling house, or guest house, such activity shall not continue later than 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yes? Okay. And we know the rule is 12 mid during the weekday right. and 2 on a weekend. And Sunday night is considered to be... Mm -hmm. Because Sunday night going into Monday morning, so that is 12 midnight. So the weekend yes. is considered Friday night and Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Sensei, big up yourself, Sensei, bless up. Right. right. Now, the superintendent of police may, upon receipt of an application under subsection 1, refuse to grant the permission 
or may grant such permission subject to such conditions as he may specify, as you have said. Right. right? A person aggrieved by a decision of the superintendent of police refusing to grant permission or any condition to which the permission is subjected may within seven days. That, right. After the date of the decision, appeal in writing to the commissioner of police. Mm -hmm. Who may revoke, vary, or confirm such decisions subject to such conditions as he deems necessary. Mm -hmm. Now, any person who contravenes this section or fails to comply with any condition relating to the grant of permission, so if you fail to seek the permission of the police, mm -hmm. or you fail to abide by the conditions under which you got the permit, yes? shall be guilty of an offense and mm. shall be liable, liable on summary conviction in a parish court to a fine not exceeding $100,000. Okay. okay. And in the fault of payment to imprisonment for a term not exceeding six months. People. We have five minutes. I have one. <sighs> Have one section right left. before you touch the section, I don't want to forget, Mr. Chambers. Mm -hmm. When the police come on the scene to lock off your music, the, the police officer that is working on that night cannot on the spot give an, an extension. People, the police that, they, that come to lock off the music because it's now 12 midnight or 2 a.m., they should not be giving you an extension. That's not how an extension work. There's a process. And so don't say to a police, say, boy, I'm not telling you about another hour and a boss. Because mm -hmm. quickly, Mr. Chambers, let me tell you something. Because it is a superintendent who actually gives a permit, th then somebody ain't going to roll. Because if the event was to finish at 12 midnight and at 12.30, a stab up or a shooting go on, somebody's going to get trouble because you have breached um, the contract that you have signed. Mm -hmm. You have breached it. You understand? Yes. Okay. And in fact, um, Section 1 mm -hmm. says that, in fact, the Section 5 says that no permission will be given mm -hmm. for any equipment or any dance or any entertainment to take place in any area where there is a hospital, a nursing okay. home, or anything like that. Section 6 says, where a person is playing upon any musical instrument or operating any specified equipment in the vicinity of a dwelling house, a hospital, a nursing home, infirmary, hotel or guest house between the hours of 10 o'clock in the evening and 6 o'clock in the following morning in such a manner so as to be reasonable, capable of causing annoyance to the persons in that vicinity and the operator is requested to reduce or discontinue the sound caused by the equipment and the operator fails to comply with that request. The operator shall, without prejudice, be guilty of an offense against this section mm -hmm. and shall be liable on summary conviction in the parish court to a fine not exceeding $20,000 mm -hmm. or in default of payment to a term not exceeding six months. Mm -hmm. Six months. And where the request is made because of a serious illness of any person. Now, this is important. Mm -hmm. Because of any serious illness of any person or for any other reasonable cause and the request is not complied with, a member of the constabulary force, mm -hmm. not below the rank of a sergeant, may seize. Yes. Hold on there. Yes, man. Yep. It's not just come there, we'll come and turn it off, you know. No. The sergeant, any officer above the rank, a, a sergeant. sergeant or above. Yep can seize and detain any specified equipment used in the commission of the offense. Mm -hmm. So, however, that such seizure and detention shall subject to the provisions of Section 3 be for such period only as may be necessary mm -hmm. for the purposes of any investigation, trial, or inquiry. You know, me have a good friend that I lost a friend in Port Antonio mm -hmm. because I was at working at a certain event. And when two when five to two, mm -hmm. I went on the stage. I didn't even talk to the, the person who I keep the event. Right. And uh, Stone Love was there, very respectable. I, that, for, it was from that day that I respect Stone Love. Stone Love. We can't say it openly. And Cassidy, I don't know nothing about Stone Man. But when I took about five police and went up on the stage, the Stone Love person who I play, mm -hmm. said, respect people. This is where it is. Mm -hmm. It was nice having music with you all. Cut to a cut because the police is here and go so bam and cut it off. Mm -hmm. And never get no problem. Mm -hmm. And from that night I said, this sound and name Stone Love. 
they are law abiding persons. I don't matter who hire them, they might work with the rule. Right. And that right. is where it is. That is the law of the land, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody said, boy, this rule is a sting and a shock. <laughs> I think that's a CD. CD. Yes, CD. It's stinging and it's shocking. Right. But it is for the benefit of all of us. Exactly. Yes. The um, person that just WhatsApp with a 3478 number starting with 352 for overseas, say checking in, didn't see a name, but thank you very much for checking in. Mr. Chambers, I'm going to open, I'm going to play devil's advocate mm -hmm. on Monday evening if there's any promoter that wants to come on here if you're available um they could come um mm -hmm. all day they, they didn't come i'm going to try to speak to a few of them again yes. over the weekend and see and as also i'm going to actually touch the road and see if i can find the views of other persons yes um to see eldon watson big up yourself mr watson from maryland Cassidy, lucky the name the for me all right eldon watson from from maryland um, let's save his number that the next time he wants that we can do it who it is. Thank you very much. For, yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Chambers, for running in. Why you fit him see I run a home? <laughs> <laughs> Why you really you're not turn an old man no time soon. Uh, so thank you very much for, work. For, <laughs> for being here with us. Thanks to our kind sponsors, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, uh Braham's Texaco. Of course, um, Task Property Appraisals Company Limited, bringing quality service to you and to our contributors at to Toya Nails at shop number six, Rosemary Plaza, Mark B. St. Thomas at 876-426-5066. Errol Barnes from Baltimore and Miss Sadie, big up herself, MT Landscaping Services, big up herself in Francis Lewis Boulevard, Queen News, Queens, New York City at 347-840-4623. And of course, we have we had with us Mr. Nicholas Chambers from Legal Chambers up there at One Arbor Street at Upstairs Digital. And you can call him at 876-392-5112. You know, lawyers don't advertise, right? But I love ball him out. All right. Um, somebody says some of these sound systems are too loud. Very loud. Very, 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 very loud. Thank you, my engineer, Cassidy. I see you have my name up there as Delrose Smith. Let me tell you something. I don't want to get my lawyer, you know. My name is Delrose Green Smith. I'm not losing my identity, and if I come back in the studio and see my name up there, so as not Delrose Smith, may I get my lawyer? <laughs> oh, so, so hold on. <laughs> I'm, I want to ask a question, yes. Cassidy. Yes. I don't know if you can answer for me. <laughs> yes. Is it now DGS? Yes, it's DGS. It's either DGS or DG. But it, it can, it, the G can't come out. So it can't be DS. It's either DGS or DG. But it can't be DG. It can't be DS. Who is she? No. So it's Delrose Green Smith. Or I'll accept Delrose Green. But it can't be Delrose Smith alone. Me and my husband have this discussion. And he yield. <laughs> I hear him tell somebody. say, me just accept it. Because we can't be in our mouth. <laughs> I see. And so I... But Mr. Chairman, I live all my life as Del Rose Green. Oh, God, man. Del Rose Smith, I'm going to I don't 53. think it's absolutely necessary at all. To do what? To, to keep it? The name. To keep it? Hmm? To keep the green? No, I'm saying I don't think it's absolutely necessary right. to change your name. Yeah. I don't think because, no, because then who me? Who is she? Del Rose Smith, who is he? So, left a little green panty, man. That people can still know some me. You understand? Right. And, I, and you know, In fact, I'm fair bit, very liberal on that, you know. Exactly. I don't think you have to take the name any at all. It doesn't change. Exactly. The price of yes, Ian. See, Ian get it right there. DGS. <laughs> <laughs> so like one DNG company. But um <laughs> but um when I tell you, you know, you know, I actually said once it if I'm marrying again, the man I have to take my name. But I changed my mind afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how much I love the green. Cassidy, thank you very much for everyone that WhatsApp us this evening and who listen to the program, although you didn't WhatsApp. Thank you very much for being a part of the program. And I also want to thank the person who have joined us on our Facebook Live, yes. Styles Facebook Live, and, and on my Facebook Live page. Thank you for joining. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, this has been your program in the North of the Law. I've been your host, Sergeant Delrose Green, along with our co-host, Mr. Nicholas Chambers, an attorney at law. And of course, in studio with us was our able engineer, Cassidy of The Control. This has been your program. Until next time, people, take care. God bless you and walk good. We gone. Bye-bye. I'm tired of you on this pop-down jalapeno, you know.
Watch there. We are run out of gas now. 